Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. Apple releases iOS 18.2 public beta 1. So all the features that are here with the 18.2 developer beta 1 and developer beta 2 are now available for the public with the public beta 1. So if you want to try out these features, you can try out. In this video, I'm going to talk about few things. I'm going to talk about the new features, also how the battery is performing and how is the Geekpad score. Now talking about the features, I will discuss features in two different sections. In first section, I will talk about the features that are available with for every other iPhone. In second section of features, I will talk about the features that are available for the specific iPhones, definitely that are related to Apple intelligence. And after that, I will talk about the battery life and performance. So timestamps is also given over here. You can switch between if you want to. Now, without any sort of a further delay, let's jump into this video. Now, starting with the very first thing in a UI change, when you go to settings, now this is how your settings look like. These icons are available in dark mode as you can see. If you go to the journal over here, these icons are also updated. If you go to the accessibility over here, these icons are also updated. Now these icons are not attached with the dark mode or light mode. They are attached with the dark and light mode of icons. So if I go to the dark mode over here, they go back because my icons go back. Now if I go over here, add it, customize like the dark over here. And now if I go back over here into the settings, now icons are dark again. So this is how they look like. Also, they are available in tinted version. So if I go over here, customize, go to the tinted version, maybe select something like this just for the sake of video, sake of video, go over here. And this is how they look like they are loading as you can see, taking a bit of a time. And this is how they look like. So this is updated in the 18.2. Also, if I go to the find my, now there are in with the find my now there are available another option that is to find small items that is very cool and going to help a lot so you can find lost items with find my definitely through uh, air tag um, that is also available also the mail app design is also changed a bit so if i go to the mail app over here go to the inbox this is how the inbox look like on the top there are filters this is one other filter updates filter promotions filter and this is how the filters if you don't like filters on top what you can do is tap on three dots and go to the list view if you want to but i do prefer them obviously it's give a bit of a change and everything is pretty much organized in a better way also when you go to the your control center add a control over here there is a new section of Siri. So go all the way down where the Siri is. Um, here it is. Now there is type to Siri option also available to add in the control center. So it can be useful for many other people. So the people who are living in EU region, now they can change default apps in a more better way. They can change their photos app. They can change their app store app. They can make any other um, default app as your photos or messages whatever they can do that also now they can delete applications if they want to they can delete that photos application after application this is all happening in eu i don't know if i like this but it is what it is again it is taking a time to you know come back now talking about some of the features um that are specific to the iphone 16 because of the uh, camera control over here no focus and exposure lock available in the camera control of iphone 16 models now let's talk about the features that are for the specific iphones and they are not coming to any other iphone now these features i'm going to talk about are related to apple intelligence and they are only for the iphone 15 pro 15 pro max up to the latest iphone 16 lineup Let's start. Siri is now integrated with Chat GPT. Also, um, there in the settings now you can upgrade to Chat GPT Plus if you want to. Also, there is a Gen Moji where you can create new emojis. Um, there is Image Wand. There is Image play Playground. Um, uh, visual Intelligence. Writing tools are now more enhanced. These are the features that are coming with the Apple Intelligence for 
18.2 they are available in the public beta one if you have the latest iphone you can try out these features i don't have latest iphone so i cannot show you that but in my other video i will try to bring about that so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon now it's been a while i'm using 18.2 because it is a, a, a public beta one it is exactly the same as developer beta 2 so i can definitely talk about the performance and the battery life so far performance is really good if i go you to uh, show you geekbest score into cpu history i get the best one of the best geekbest score it is not the best but really best 23 27 or a single core while 57 20 or a multi-core now this score is really really good it is way better than the average it is also way better than the average as you can see so scores are actually really really good which i really like and if i go to the gpu benchmark over here it gives me the highest score ever of gpu benchmark which is 21565 metal score so if you are a gamer this version can be for you but still these are just early days you can wait for a couple of days more also if i talk about the battery life um, i will go to the settings then to the battery section over here then the battery stats load i used my phone a lot yesterday as you can see i used 125 percent i got a really good battery life over here it is more than nine hours it is pretty much almost 10 hours as you can see but definitely when i hit the 100 percent mark over here it was seven hours and 30 minutes which means battery life is also really decent on 18.2 so i used instagram a lot youtube a lot and some other applications as you can see if i go today over here as you can see i used almost 75 percent of my food and i got screen on time of seven hours four minutes which is again insane really good i played game i was quite active on youtube whatsapp instagram and using some other applications so in terms of battery life 18.2 is really good no issues at all over there now how you can install this update is quite simple you need to go to settings you need to go journal you need to go software update and over here you need to wait for this section go to the beta updates select the ios 18 public beta go back and you will see the update i will not see the update because i am already on it if you don't have public beta option over here beta updates option over here what you can do is you can go to the apple beta profile uh, apple beta website from where you can sign up if you want to make me a video about that let me in the comment section below i will make a full fledged video that how you can sign up for the public beta and how you can install the latest public beta also when we can expect to see the public release there are some rumors that Apple is expected to release the iOS 18.2 in the first week of December. So that is going to be definitely on 2nd December. So I'm hoping that it will come on 2nd December. And I do believe from here Apple maybe goes to weekly cycle of updates. Maybe next week we are going to see developer beta 3 and public beta 2. That is what I think. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. This is all from this video and I will see you in the next video. Until then take care. Peace out.